I was walking and I watched all the cracks in the ground. And I got a crazy idea. Probably a city is represented by its cracks. Or... The number of your cracks is the number of the cracks you can resist in your history. I have a continuum hypothesis. In this city, you always know where you are but almost never went. Budapest is timeless. Walls bear bullet marks from 1956 and 1945. Our courtyard that looks as if the war had merely been suspended. Nohan has touched it since the Seiji. A stage set between two acts. The enemy armies are taking a lunch break, keeping the tasteless soup in a fraternizing manner, only to resume fighting and ultimately exterminate one another in the end. Make no mistake, the place is devoid of sentimentalism. The city very much resists that. It keeps shocking and warning you. This place doesn't let you soak in your nostalgic desires. Not only because occasionally entire neighborhoods need to be evacuated for one-ton bombs that have been lying in dormant beneath the asphalt for the last past 60 years. Budapest keeps sucking us into the continuum. The fusion of times. If something like this can exist here, the city is the egg the wonder of the world. But at least it's there. It is there. Only it looks like a page from a handbook of the story of Budapest. Again, something unrealistic and anachronistic. There was an era when everything worthy and interesting took place underground, in cellars and basements or at least in flats accessible via fire stairs, in dim rooms facing the courtyard, in abandoned, unused spaces, certainly not on the street or in public places opening onto the street. Budapest is a terrain of collective existence, first person plural in automatic mode. I'm glad I lived through this age, if not completely engaged, at least as part of the totality of the experience. I am glad that I could be part of the late socialism. I acquired many ideas then, which now can be disposed of like useless rubbish. But make no mistake, the sensitivity that makes you aware of a multitude of minuscule signs on a homogeneous gray surface is an important ability. Budapest is now an open city, though its lives are closed. Still, it is a substantial change that the city has opened up. And not only because we can watch the Euro Cup football and plasma screens spread out over empty lots. Not only because the Balkan and Poles meets the calm serenity of the monarchy and you can go to the concerts in open air on the green. Rather because all in all, over the past 20 years, this city has become a complex market of places, events, things to see, hear and taste. Just like the metropolis we once looked up to, from London to Berlin. Budapest is slowly becoming too much to take. You can get lost here, from the magic number 3000, of which so much could be expected. This nomenclature was thus utopian and somewhat hope-inspiring. There are some people here who declare that the year 2000 will arrive someday. We were certain that a lot of things would change by then. Every weekend there were punk and alternative bands playing here, new wave artists showing their work. Most of them are gone, just like the place itself. But it's art's role, or fate, to banish, isn't it? Is this where my hypothesis collapses? No, perhaps it's still enable. Budapest is wildly in the dance macabre of consumption. 
telling you that you are not a human being if you don't drive a car and spend at least 100 euros on a pink shirt. You're an idiot if you don't celebrate. Principally, I could say the Russian crack. Then we have the German crack. Probably this is the Turkish crack, the Ottoman crack, the Czechoslovakian crack, the Yugoslavia crack, the Bosnian crack, the Austrian crack, the USA crack, the Romanian crack, the French crack, the Spanish crack, the Italian crack, our own Hungarian crack. Is it possible to live here? What kind of opportunities are there for action? My attempt at an answer would be that life is only possible here if we accept the continuum and consider it a feature of the city. About the government and the cracks, how usually the government works on the water or on the ground, little by little. Probably the solution about government is exactly how we fix cracks. We should take them out, one meter under, from the roots.